Hello everyone, uh, today I am going to show you how to uh, design uh, view FDs and as well as the balance sheet in a Windows form project that is banking system entities. So uh, let's do it and first of all design this uh, view FDs form and after that you can uh, make some codes for uh, view FDs. I want to show the all FDs according to the date. Uh, that is we have already uh, see use uh, you can see the date time figures okay uh, in this code I will get the uh, value of the date time picker and uh, get the values uh, from the database table and show that on the data grid view so you can use the binding uh, list to show the data on the data grid view table so okay uh, there is we have v1 equals to new binding navy uh, binding list uh, with the fd and uh, dbe equals to new banking db entities uh, date is getting from the date time picker control so date time picker one dot value dot to string in the format of uh, MMDD and the YY format okay and first of all you can check uh, the date is picked from uh, date picker is correct or not so use message box dot show date and variable item equals to dbe dot fd dot where a dot starting date dot equals that is date okay and get the data and get all the data and bind the data grid view so data grid view one dot data source equals to item dot to list it's pretty simple you you know where you know that now start it view fds I don't know what is the date of the FD created so randomly you can select it yeah that is well good but there is no data on this date so if you want to uh, show the data first of all check the date and that uh, first of all check the starting date okay in, in, into your server explorer into your database table So I have to check in the table the FDs form show FDs and the starting date of the FD is, is 218 2018 okay so in the format view FDs there is 2 and the March in place of fab and the 18 is there so click OK yeah that's fine so thank you guys for watching this videos for FD's form now uh, come to the part is the balance sheet okay so uh, the the thing behind the balance sheet is uh, to normal you can all the transactions that is transfer details and as well as the debit details and the deposit detail also we can show um, for the customers account um, for the basis of the customer account number okay Uh, it's a good idea to show first of all add a text box um, with the account number and the button control uh, to retrieve the item from the database table and uh, also add three grid view control for the debit deposit and the transfer details the first uh, grid view uh, detail and second one and the last one okay that's fine
label control the label control is used debit details and the deposit details and the last one is the transfer details okay the last one is the transfer details that's fine it's pretty simple now come to the part into the code part double click on the button control and uh, design the code for the three grid view control first uh, retrieve the item from the debit and the second one is the retrieve item from the deposits and the third one is retrieved item from the transfer table so it's uh, pretty simple so you can do yourself and uh, thanks for watching my, my video um, and keep watching my all other videos which is related to banking system entities and learn many more things about uh, the windows form and gui controls and also the c sharp you can say okay so it's good idea to learn better way and uh, it's good idea to learn in details also so do dot account number as double equals to b there is uh, it's related to the debits form and also the you can design for the deposit form thank you very much for guys and keep watching my all other videos thank you very much